we know these shapes very well these can be locked in place with the triangle how are these four shapes related these are called conic sections in mathematics a conic section is a curve obtained as a intersection between the surface of a cone and a plane let us design conic sections in free cad and 3d print later i assume that you are already familiar with the free cad environment we will use part design and part work branch for this exercise to begin with let us draw a sketch to get a rough idea about various parameters this triangle represents a cone when cut vertically through the vertex this is the axis of the cone we'll draw a triangle in the xz plane each side is 100 mm vertex angle in this case will be 30 degrees depending on the angle made by the plane with the vertical axis of the cone we get different conic sections these four lines represent cross sections of the cone at different angles and locations let us switch to the parts workbench we'll create a cone with a 0.1 mm short radius 50 mm big radius and height 86.6 mm let's position it upside down and align the base with the x axis now let's create a cube which will be used to cut sections at various locations 120 by 120 mm with a thickness of 2 mm 2 mm thickness of the cube will result in the same thickness of various sections we get as a part of boolean operation let us position the cube right below the cone we'll make three copies of the shape and rename accordingly let us place the first section perpendicular to the axis at a distance of 60 mm second one at an angle of 32 degrees to the axis of the cone this is greater than 30 degrees and less than 90 degrees third one is parallel to the sides of the triangle and will result in parabola fourth one will be perpendicular to the base with the cone selected first followed by a section we'll find a common part between the two we get a circle as a result
Let us repeat the same process for the remaining three sections. Now we have to make cuts in these sections. We will take help from the part design workbench again and draw a triangle 20 mm above the origin. Let's pad it with 2.1 mm thickness, slightly more than the thickness of the cuts we got in earlier step. It's important to make it symmetric to the plane as well. With this triangular section, we will make cuts to the four shapes we got earlier with boolean operations in the parts workbench. For now, we'll export these sections as STL for 3D printing. Now, we need a triangle which will represent cone and can house these four parts as well. This triangle will be exactly like a cone with a thickness of 2 mm. Let us perform a similar operation on a triangle with the help of four sections we created earlier. Slots are created in place so that components or sections can be inserted properly. With STLs in place, you can open these files in Cura and print each shape one by one. Here is a food for thought. We got e leaves when plane cut the cone like this. 
Can you find foci for this ellipse? Give it a try. I also designed and 3D printed sections from solid cone as well. How I did it in another video. You can also visit this website if you want to build the same using plain paper or card sheet. Do give it a try. Thank you.